Hi, this is Chris Landry with Soundings and Soundings Trade Only. Today I'm here with uh, two representatives from Seven Marine, uh, Rick Davis and Brian Davis, his son. How are you guys doing today? We're doing great, Chris. Uh, Rick and uh, Brian have a new product on the market. It's the highest horsepower outboard on the market yet. Highest horsepower. Tell us about the outboard. Yes, we've combined the reliable power of the Chevrolet CTSV Cadillac engine and combined it into a marine configuration with the ZF transmission and delivered the most horsepower to the water ever, 557 horsepower. Tell me about some of the unique uh, features um, with this outboard. How is it different from what's on the market today? Well, the first thing that differentiates it is, of course, the horsepower. But secondly, we've combined it with a very unique computer control transmission that gives us wet clutches that are computer controlled for forward and reverse shifting. That gives us the capability to operate a joystick and troll control. So this is also the first joystick operated outboard system? This will be the first production built joystick outboard motor, yes. Uh, also, would you tell me uh, what area of the market this uh, outboard is going to um, be situated? Sure, I'll, I'd like to take that one, Chris. Um, if you look at the big boat features that are important to the market today with pod drives, with some of the interesting things that are coming out with stern drives, we actually have the ability to, to deliver both the power and the features in an outboard package. So if somebody's looking at pod-type big boat features but they want outboard efficiency, that's where the 7 Marine outboards really play because we have not only 557 horsepower, but we also have the big boat features. So if you want to go bigger and faster in outboard power, we can do that. If you want big boat features with outboard efficiency and performance, we can do that too. So we really position both from a feature deliverable set and also a pricing set very similar to those big boat type drive systems that are available today. Now these uh, twin outboards here behind us are, are on an Intrepid. Um, can you tell me uh, which boat builders you are working with at this point? Absolutely. Over the last uh, really 12 months, we've been working with a number of boat manufacturers down here. So many of the boat manufacturers that deliver large uh, center console type boats or large performance fishing express boats that have outboard motors, we've been in contacts and discussions with and uh, are really open to discussing the concept with any OEM that a customer would bring to us. So we've been in boat conversations with probably about 15 to 20 different boat manufacturers over the last year. What is the, uh, the size range of boats that this, uh, this engine can be mounted on? Yeah. Absolutely. When you look at the durability and reliability that the four strokes have brought to the market, you're starting to see boats with actual singles. So we could start anywhere from a 25 to 27 foot boat with a single application and then really the options are limitless. We're talking to people all the way up at 55 foot boats today um, that are on the drawing boards where we, you could run a quad or triple installation. Okay. What about performance? Uh, people are interested in top speed, but they're also really interested in economy. So with these engines, you should expect somewhere from, if you were to look at a triple or quad application, we're looking at 10 to 20% efficiency gains depending on the hull and the propeller selections also depending on how you choose to position the propeller or drive system relative to the gear ratios that you select you could expect a uh, 10 to 20 percent performance gain when you're going from similar horsepower which would be say 1400 or 1050 on the back of an outboard powered boat to go to twin seven motors with our 557s yeah this is the secret chris that with this amount of power per engine what we've done is we've been able to eliminate the number of gear cases in the water. And the gear case is the single largest drag factor for a planing hull. So instead of wetting four gear cases, we're wetting two, or at the most three compared to four. We've also been able to package the most efficient gear case size from a diameter perspective because we've moved the shifting from a technical perspective out of the gear case and into a transmission in the middle of the motor and therefore we have a twin pinion gear case to drive the most efficient way through the water. Name for me the um, some of the other uh, companies you're working with. I know ZF Marine is, uh, is involved in this. Uh, could you name a few of those and, and what they're doing? 
Yes. Uh, the, the first one is General Motors. Uh, we've been working closely with General Motors with this dynamically new power plant, which is all aluminum and supercharged. And then, of course, the ZF Marine with all of the joystick and clutch technology. We're also working with Latham. What we've done is uh, created a new patented steering system. And what we've got is a hydraulic steering rim that's on the tilt axis of the outboard motor. And it has a very, very stealthy little tie link, which I think you'll like when you look at it, and there's no claptrap in the drywall. We also work with Alpha Laval on some of the most efficient coolers that have seen this industry in order to minimize the size of, of the coolers, um, and, 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 and many others, really. When can we expect the uh, outboards to hit the market? So we're going to be going through a complete durability test cycle over the next uh, over the next few quarters, and then we'll be starting production in the fourth quarter of this year. Okay, this is Chris Landry with Soundings and Soundings Trade Only, with uh, representatives from Seven Marine.